in this video we have been given that a square root of a square root of x plus 2 by a square root of x minus 2 is equal to a square root of x plus 2 then we have to find all real values of x so we have a square root of a square root of x plus 2 by a square root of x minus 2 is equal to a square root of x plus 2 and if we square it both side then a square and a square root will get cancelled and it will be a square root of x plus 2 by a square root of x minus 2 is equal to and this will be a square root of x a square plus 2 a square plus 2 times a square root of x times 2 and it is a square root of x plus 2 by a square root of x minus 2 is equal to x plus 4 plus 4 times a square root of x and if we cross multiply then a square root of x plus 2 it will be equal to a square root of x minus 2 times x plus 4 plus 4 times a square root of x and a square root of x plus 2 it is equal to a square root of x times x will be x times a square root of x and a square root of x times 4 will be 4 times a square root of x and a square root of x times 4 times a square root of x it will be 4x and minus 2 times x will be minus 2x minus 2 times 4 will be minus 8 and minus 2 times 4 times a square root of x it will be minus 8 times a square root of x and a square root of x plus 2 it is equal to x times a square root of x and 4x minus 2x is 2x and 4 times a square root of x minus 8 times a square root of x it will be minus 4 times a square root of x minus 8 and x times a square root of x plus 2x minus 4 times a square root of x minus 8 minus a square root of x minus 2 it will be equal to 0 and it is x times a square root of x plus 2x and minus 4 times a square root of x minus a square root of x it will be minus 5 times a square root of x and minus 8 minus 2 it will be minus 10 it is equal to 0 and it is x times a square root of x minus 5 times a square root of x plus 2x minus 10 is equal to 0 and here we can take a square root of x common and it is x minus 5 and here we can take 2 common and it is x minus 5 that is equal to 0 
and now we can take x minus 5 common and it is a square root of x minus 2 that is equal to 0. So either x minus 5 it will be equal to 0 so x will be equal to 5 or a square root of x plus 2 it can be equal to 0 so we get a square root of x is equal to minus 2 but a square root of x it should be greater than equal to 0 so it cannot be equal to minus 2 so x is equal to 5 and second method we have a square root of a square root of x plus 2 by a square root of x minus 2 is equal to a square root of x plus 2 and if we square it both side then a square and a square root will get cancelled so it is a square root of x plus 2 by a square root of x minus 2 is equal to a square root of x plus 2 a square and if we cross multiply then a square root of x plus 2 it will be equal to a square root of x plus 2 a square times a square root of x minus 2 and it is a square root of x plus 2 minus a square root of x plus 2 a square times a square root of x minus 2 is equal to 0 and we can take a square root of x plus 2 common and it will be 1 minus a square root of x plus 2 times a square root of x minus 2 is equal to 0. So either a square root of x plus 2 it will be equal to 0 or 1 minus a square root of x plus 2 times a square root of x minus 2 it can be equal to 0 and we know that a square root of x it is greater than equal to 0 so this cannot be equal to 0 it is not possible and from here we know that a plus b times a minus b it is equal to a square minus b square so it will be 1 minus a square root of x a square minus 2 a square is equal to 0 and it is 1 minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 and it is 1 minus x plus 4 is equal to 0 and 5 minus x is equal to 0 so x will be equal to 5 x is 5 